Hello, this is Reza Rat from Revacat. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is implicit measure and what is explicit measure, DAX measures in Power BI and what is their differences. Let's see what they are. In, let, let's say I have a sample model. Here is my sample model to simple tables, customer table, in fact, internet sales table, um, uh, and they are connected based on customer key. So customer table actually filters the sales table. Now I want to achieve a visualization with showing some of sales by English education. There are two ways I can do that in Power BI. One way is that I can go ahead and create a measure uh, a DAX measure in Power BI. This is a sample measure I have created. Um, so using the new measure, uh, and this this is my measure explain, uh, definition, sum of the sales amount column in the fact internet sales. Uh, and the measure will be added to my table like that. This is the icon for the measure. And when I go and add it to my report, this is what the measure looks like and it shows the value aggregated by whatever filters that value. This type of measure is explicit measure because we explicitly defined the measure definition. So any measure that you create and you write your DAX expression for that, that is an explicit measure. Now, what is implicit measure? Implicit measure is a type of measure that you just create by dragging and dropping an item. Let's say I remove the sales amount from here. If I want to achieve sum of sales, another method is that I can just basically like drag and drop that uh, into here, uh, into my visualization, uh, like that. Now, this will show me actually sum of sales amount. You see the values here are not different with the values over there. In fact, it is showing sum of sales amount. How that is possible? That is possible because this sum, this sigma icon you see beside the sales amount. This is what Power BI does to auto summarize the numeric fields. Most of numeric fields will have that unless they are used in a relationship. For example, here you can see that the customer key, even though it is a numeric field, doesn't have that sum in it because it's an, uh, used in a relationship, but this one does. This basically means that whenever I drag and drop that in uh, a visual Power BI behind the scene, instead of showing me the individual sales amount, it will show me the sum of the sales amount. Uh, if Power BI um, wanted to show me not the sum, it would look like this. Here I have a visual with sales amount, but uh, don't summarize it selected. That is why I see basically all different values uh, in the sales amount. The reason that it is not showing that and it's showing this is that the sum is by default selected. This type of measure is implicit measure. Implicit measures are, of course, much easier to add to your report because you could just drag and drop them here uh, versus for explicit measure, you write the expression. Also, if you ever use quick measure, which is a quick way of creating measure based on some patterns and templates, that is also considered as an explicit measure because behind the scene, there would be a DAX expression for that created. It's just easier for you to create it. So uh, now that we know what is explicit measure and what is implicit measure, let's see what is their difference. So sales here is an explicit measure. Sales amount is uh, implicit measure, just a column dragged here. In terms of performance, there is no difference. That is one of the first guesses I get when I ask people that what is the difference between these two you think? Um, some people say this is better, that is better. And uh, no, because this would also be sum of sales amount very similar to that. So they are not really different in terms of performance. Of course, if I have a uh, explicit measure with a complex tax statement, it might perform slower than just sum of sales, but that is not exactly this measure anyway. If I'm just comparing the two measures like that, sum of sales here versus implicitly created sum of sales amount, they are exactly the same in terms of performance. In terms of flexibility, uh, when I have uh, implicit measure, I am flexible to change the sum to something else. Like for example, I can click on this drop down here and choose aggregation to be something else. You see there are only a limited options available here, average, minimum, maximum, things like that. Uh, but I'm still flexible to do that change. 
I can also uh, click on the column, then go to the column tools at the top and under summarization, I can choose what summarization I want. And if I do that, then this will be applied for that field everywhere used in this report, uh, not just that visual. But both of these methods are only limited to the number of aggregations that I have over there. If I want to do something different, such as year to date, such as, let's say, uh, the average of top three uh, customers, things like that, I cannot do that with implicit measure. I have to write a DAX measure for that because in the DAX measure, I can write calculate function, I can write all the filter functions I want. I, I am flexible to do whatever I want. So uh, explicit measure gives you better flexibility while implicit measure is simpler to use. But the big difference is not any of these. The big difference is when you use this uh, data set in Excel. Let's say you have built this report, you published it to the Power BI service. Now here I have that report in the Power BI service. In Power BI service, users can connect to it using a feature called Analyze in Excel. Analyze in Excel is a very, uh, very powerful feature. It enables Excel to directly connect to this Power BI uh, data set live in the website instead of exporting it. I have another article and video explain that why you should not export data uh, to Excel and uh, why you should use Analyze in Excel instead because it's much more live and um, security applies through it, e everything like that. And, this is not a video explaining what analyzing Excel is. But if I use that option, then I would be able to have my uh, data analyzed inside Excel. Here is the Excel file that is connected to exactly the same data set here. You can see that I have my fields here. Uh, the field that is an explicit measure will show under a measure table versus the one that is just the column will show under this icon, more like a dimension icon. These are more like fact table icon. But the big difference is this. Um, let's say I want to add English education and the sales amount beside it. If I add sales amount, the implicit measure, you see that sales amount doesn't really aggregate. Even if I try to add it to the values, you see this uh, message showing up that I cannot add this to the value side of my uh, of my pivot table or pivot chart. Uh, that is a limitation of implicit measure. Excel does not understand that this column is sum of sales amount, not just sales amount. So implicit measures are not understandable for Excel as a value. Instead, uh, if I choose this one, which is explicit measure, you can see that it easily comes as the format that I want and it comes to the value. So Excel understand explicit measures uh, much better than implicit measure. If you have this type of user, a user who will analyze your data in Excel, which happens quite often, in Power BI scenario, then definitely consider uh, creating explicit measures. And there are tools that can help you with that. Tabular Editor can help you to create explicit measure. One important tip is that if you ever go and create explicit measure, for example, for the sales amount column, I created a measure called sum of sales amount, then there is no point to have the sales amount visible here. It will confuse both users and yourself. Uh, it's much better if you just go and hide that column. Uh, when you hide that column, it will not be visible in the report. And another quick tip is that if you have a table with all of columns hidden and only measures uh, available, then that table in Power BI looks like a measure table. Uh, that's just a quick tip. But in fact, here I just have one sales that I can use it in my report. So in summary, implicit measure, explicit measure, they are the same in their performance, flexibility, you have more flexibility with explicit measures. And the big difference is when Excel users use the Analyze Excel feature um, to connect to your Power BI dataset, they can see explicit measures as values in there. I hope this video helped you in your Power BI implementation. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.